What should I say? Hi! Welcome back to my channel. I hate it. It's so cliche. But welcome back. Unless you're new, then, then hello. I have a box of empties right now. I've been collecting them for a while. I'm storing them in this Alivet box. It is where I buy my cat's insulin. <laughs> You have to stand. I haven't done one of these in maybe years, unless I'm wrong, but I think it's been years. I don't know why I stopped. I think because, well, I thought it was hard for me to use things up, but once I started consciously collecting things, turns out I do use things up. And I really love watching other people's empties videos because when someone has used something to the end, and and why was i saying it like that it's true till the and till the end it sounds weird to me right now that's the time when i want to know are you repurchasing this again or are you not you know because we all love things for five minutes and then we move on right so i have a whole mix of stuff we got hair care we got skin care we got a perfume in here before i begin I need to quickly mention some new exciting stuff by Rayel Beauty. This portion of the video is sponsored by Rayel. I've talked about them before. If you're not familiar, Rayel is known for their clean, environmentally friendly, non-toxic period products. They have pads, tampons, they have all of that stuff. They're great, I love them, I use them. A couple months back they launched two skincare products and they were amazing, I talked about them on here, but they are launching their full line of skincare products and they're really amazing. I've been trying them over the past few weeks and I have some of my faves here that I'm gonna show you. All of these skincare products are vegan. There's no harsh ingredients. There's no toxic chemicals. So the first thing I'm going to show you from them is called Reset Button. And this is a cleansing water. I was really excited to try this out because when I got this in the mail, I had just gotten my eyebrows, eyebrows microbladed. And if you've ever gotten your eyebrows microbladed, you know that you're not allowed to like wash your face or put any products on them for... Um, on them or above your eyebrows. So like nothing here up for two weeks. Did I follow that to a T? Of course not. But I did follow the like not washing your face. You can't really scrub. You don't want to be like cleansing. But I did put makeup <laughs> on my forehead. So um, I was reaching for this a lot to take off my makeup and to cleanse my skin because I wasn't able to do like my regular routine. And I Love this, you only need a little bit. It takes off everything and it leaves your skin feeling really hydrated because it has hyaluronic acid in it. The other product that I love that they just released is their Calm Collected Creamy Moisture Mist. It is a spray, but this one's different than any other uh, spray that I've encountered because it's like creamy. As you can see, like it's not clear. Um, it's very hydrating. It's also loaded with um, hyaluronic acid. I'll give myself a little spritz even though I feel pretty hyd <sighs> Don't talk when it's being sprayed in your mouth. Though it's non-toxic, so, you know. So after this video, um, I'm going to link them down below. Check them out. I think you're going to love them. This is such a great brand to support. Okay, so on to the empties. I have quite a few things here, so I'm going to try and get through them quickly so that I'm not just blabbering on all day. The first one matches my shirt and so I wanted to love it and I didn't hate it. This is hair by Sam Knight and it's called it's called Cool Girl Barely There Texture Mist. 100% they got me on packaging and name alone. Imagine if you were like this is all I use. It's called Cool Girl but um yeah, I didn't like, so it's a texture spray. I, I have to admit, just nothing blew me away about this. Like, it smells good, but I, I kind of can't remember. Oh, there's still one little squirt left. It smells good. It works nice. It is barely there. So if you don't like a lot of texture in your hair, then maybe try this. I happen to like a little bit more texture. So for me, it wasn't enough. Um, so I've moved on. Another hair product we have by way this is their super dry shampoo I got this at 
Sephoria. Um, it had like, whoops. Well, that's gone forever. I really love whey products, and I still do. And I liked this. The only thing I didn't like, first of all, it smells so good. You can't beat the scent of whey products. I mean, they just linger in your hair. They smell amazing. You don't even need to like wear perfume if you have whey products in your hair. Um, so 10 out of 10 for scent. And it is a really great dry shampoo. It really is thorough. However, it's very white. It was very white in my hair and that was that's the only reason why I won't repurchase just because I have dark hair and I, I can't have it be white should we mix it up or should I just go through all the hair products because I have a few I'm like as if I'm waiting for you to answer I'm like what do you think just go through all the hair products okay this is the Olaplex number five conditioner um i love this conditioner i love <laughs> that was really intense um i also love their shampoo this was a godsend when i was platinum and like bleaching my hair um, my hair is really close to being back to its original self i chopped it we got about this much is left of like the damage and we're working our way through it so i don't need this as much anymore but if you have really dry damaged hair this the whole line amazing really hydrating conditioner okay i'm done okay another dry shampoo so the story about this one this is by kevin murphy it's called fresh hair um i got this travel size because i was traveling for my boyfriend's brother's wedding all right i don't know if you can or can't take aerosol on a plane because they say no but then some people say you can take it if it's like under a certain amount or something um i always thought you couldn't take aerosol on a plane. So anyway, I went into um, a salon there and just bought a little mini size. I guess I brought it back <laughs> on the plane because I have it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so jury's still out on that. I think you can get away with it, but are you technically allowed? I don't know. Either way, I used it all up. I don't love it and here's why it did not leave a white cast and that is why I give it a thumbs up the reason why I didn't like it is because it didn't give me that like really like I love a dry shampoo that like takes out all of the oil and it looks like you've like it looks like you just washed your hair this didn't you had to use like a lot more and it still kind of left it like it was like hydrating or something and I'm like I don't want that I think that's all with uh hair care thank god okay let's go into body wash i have two body washes neutrogena rain bath uh this is an old classic been around forever i really enjoyed using this and i'm i think i would purchase this again because of the scent it smells so good this reminds me of like the 90s like this is like what showers smelled like in the 90s like we didn't have all of this like frou-frou like floral rose like pantene it's like yeah like it existed but like it just not what my mom was buying or whatever you know with three kids it's like we got like whatever was on sale and everything just smelled like this to me and this is to me is childhood this is nostalgia i don't even know what this scent is to me it just smells like shampoo uh body wash what everything smelled like in my shower growing up it is not hydrating. I have very dry skin and I'm very picky about like what I use on my body in the shower because I have a tendency to come out of the shower and feel like really tight and dry and I don't always like putting moisturizer on my body because who has the time? Um, so this definitely, it like has sulfates. It's not hydrating. It's in fact, it's kind of drying, but I will buy this again just for the scent because that's how good it smells to me another one is this might be like my 20th bottle that i've gone through of this so this is kind of old news i've talked about it before glossier body hero in shower what is it called daily oil wash talk about smelling good i mean this stuff is amazing i love it i shave with it i use it as a body wash um but i mostly shave with it and i mostly use it because not in my vagina because whenever i say that people like comment and they're like you know you're not supposed to put anything inside your vagina i'm like look i've had a vagina for 30 years almost and it's like i know that you think i don't know that it's like we only have to make that mistake once or twice before you learn um but i use this to wash my vagina and um or vulva for anyone who's gonna like really come at me in the comments um just know that i know what i'm saying 
it's very safe and gentle. They had, Glossier had a gynecologist test this um, to make sure that it was safe and they gave it the green light and I've been using it there for years since it came out and <laughs> everything's well and good there in that department. All right, um, moving on to skincare. Oh, 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 we have one more hair product. Uh, this is also by Way. Again, smells amazing. This is the Wave Spray. I have, I've had this for a long time. I finally used it all up. I'll be honest. I used to this, so I had like a little bit left. I used it on my pompous grass. Um, hang on. I'll get there. I don't like this very much, and I'll tell you why. It, it's now this is going to be the opposite of what I said about this and how this isn't enough hold or whatever. This was too much. I love a good wave spray, like a good salt spray where you can like scrunch up your hair and let the natural texture show. Um, this was like more like hairspray to me. Like it was very stiff. You could you. You couldn't, I couldn't figure out a good ratio for this. Like I'd spray a little bit and it still would be like too much. Um, I don't know. It works, but it's just not the look that I was going for. It was a little too crunchy. So because it's so sticky, in my opinion, um, I got some pompous grass. And someone in, I forget what, a, a video where I mentioned how like my pompous grass sheds and this and that. And someone was like, put hairspray on it. And I thought that's genius. So I freaking doused my pompous grass in this stuff not a single shedding so you know would I repurchase it again for my pompous grass no I wouldn't do that but but it worked like a charm okay I have one perfume this is my signature nine times out of ten this is what I wear most people know this as me you know like I'll have I had like a friend text me recently it was like someone in my office is wearing your perfume and it's freaking me out because I keep thinking you're near and I'm like it's is it this and it was so this is what I smell like this is one of the best perfumes ever it's so this is a Glossier perfume did I say that yeah I've gone through this might be I might be onto my fourth bottle now sorry I had to move because the sun was like coming in weird um I happen to think it smells like the best thing in the world it's light it's fresh but it's also to me it smells leathery and and sexy so I love it I already I'm well into my my next bottle okay we got a bunch of skincare here they're almost all Renee Rouleau did you guys watch my Renee Rouleau video I'll link it up here um, watch it after this video but um, she's a genius she's a celebrity esthetician and she invited me to her hotel room to give me a facial I'm not kidding when I say my skin had never looked so good for like those two weeks after she's a genius but I had been loving her products for so long and I fell like even more in love with them after the facial because she like recommended some new things to me I started using like more things by her and I've just been loving my current routine but this is not by her so I don't know why I went uh, into that tangent but this is the only thing I have um, and but it's kind of connected to her so this is by fresh and this is the soy cleanser um, this is just a travel size that I take with me when I travel um, because my normal cleanser which is by Renee Rouleau is does not come in a travel size so that's that's my only downside about that but um, this used to be my exclusive cleanser I use this all the time after switching to Renee Rouleau and then back to this when I'm traveling I don't like it I don't like it as much it's just a little bit more drying in my opinion but it is a great cleanser I still this is what I reach for when I am traveling but um not as good as the moisture protecting cleanser by Renee Rouleau I'm already on to my new one. I love this. Gel to milk formula, perfectly pH balanced. Comes out like a gel, and then like it says, it turns kind of milky. It breaks down makeup. It just doesn't, it's a no frills cleanser. It doesn't strip your skin, and it doesn't give you that tight, dry feeling after. Yeah, it's not like so exciting to use. You know, it's not like doesn't have all of this and that and this cool packaging, but like it just works. 
Another, I told you, these are all by Renee Rouleau, the, the rest of the box, because I've just been going hard. So this is her Elderberry Soothing Toner, and I'm actually, this was the second one I purchased, so I'm now on to my third. Um, the first time I ran out of this, you know, I always thought toners were gimmicky, but I started using this toner, and then when I ran out the first time, I noticed it instantly in my skin. My skin was dull, it was tight and dehydrated, um, I'm finding that using this toner after I wash my face morning and night, it has like totally changed the game for my hydration levels. Okay, I have some serums here. This is her vitamin C and E treatment. Vitamin C is like, you know, we've all heard it. It's like really one of the most important things um, we can be doing for our skin. Uh, and this is a very interesting vitamin C serum because it comes out like a light lotion So it feels very hydrating a lot of the vitamin C's are very unpleasant to use They're either like powdery or sticky or like orange um, This one's n none of those things and I'm on my second bottle now. I love it so much It's the serum I use in the morning after the toner and before my moisturizer and sunscreen. I love it I can't recommend it enough and these are the two serums that I alternate at night and this is the skin correcting serum a soothing hydration breakout control and this is the pore and wrinkle perfecting serum for anti-aging and anti-breakout so um, I'm working on correcting hydration levels and anti-aging but I also do get clogged pores and blackheads so um, breakouts is something I'm still trying to like combat and a lot of the times anti-aging products kind of do the opposite uh, so these are great because they do both so this I don't even know what's in it I'll be honest oh it says it strengthens the skin's immune system to prevent blemishes and then anti irritants improve hydration shows how much I know I don't even know what's in it but I love it it's very hydrating again it um, keeps breakouts at bay um, so I alternate between that one and this one because this one is a exfoliating serum so you don't want to use this every single night that's why I alternate this has different acids so they exfoliate the skin they exfoliate inside the pore this one I love especially when I'm looking like I'm breaking out or starting to I use this one and by the morning it's so much better and then I have her two masks here well she has more than these two but these are the masks of hers that I use and I use them together and that's why I ran out of them at the same time so this is the soothing the smoothing triple uh, sorry the triple berry smoothing peel it looks like jam it smells really good it smells like jam looks like jam it's a peel so it has um, exfoliating acids in it it works really well you don't want to leave it on longer than 10 minutes because you don't want to over exfoliate your skin because it is strong so after that one I follow up with this one which is the rapid response detox mask and this helps to heal breakouts and, and like clean out the pores and why I love this so much first of all it smells so freaking good there's like tea tree oil in it and I think that's what I'm picking up on why I like this is because as someone who does struggle with clogged pores and, and blackheads and I also am prone to dehydration I can't use the typical like detox masks that are out there they're all mostly clay based and they just suck every last bit of water out of my skin and it takes like days to recover so um, I love this. It's a gel. It's hydrating. It just does all of the same things that like a clay detox mask does without drying the skin. Um, okay, so I accidentally lied and I have one more product and it's not by Brene Rouleau. It's another Glossier product. I use, you guys know, I use a ton of Glossier products. I always am stocked with my Milky Jelly Cleanser. I love taking my makeup off with this, especially when I have like a lot of heavy eye makeup on. This just like I massage it into my skin dry and then I take a wet washcloth and I just wipe everything away You can open your eyes while you're using this you can get it into your freaking eye for all I care And it doesn't do anything. It's just very gentle. It doesn't break me out I love that they now have a travel size of this because now I am able to travel with this. So Thank you Glossier. So that is it all of my empties let me know in the comments because i haven't done this video in so long let me know if you guys enjoyed this if you want me to keep collecting my empties and doing them periodically 
um, I'm happy to do so because this was really fun. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here and you haven't subscribed. I think you're gonna wanna stick around. Okay, I'll see you in my next video.